Hi, I'm Papa P. Thanks for joining me today on my first cooking YouTube video, and hopefully it'll lead to many more. Today, I'm going to prepare one of the most important ingredients when it comes to cooking Southern Italian food, and that's tomato sauce. Tomato sauce is a very important foundation when it comes to preparing other Italian recipes, such as lasagna, manicotti, uh, chicken parmesan, or even just a hearty bowl of pasta. Today I'm going to share with you our family recipe. We not only use this recipe at home, we've used it in the restaurant business. Now that we're retired from the business, uh, I still enjoy cooking for my family and my friends, and you know they're always asking me for the recipe. So I think that this is going to be a really good resource for them to get the recipes uh, at on demand, basically, you know, when they want them, and they don't have to wait for me to text it to them. Anyway, uh, let's get right. <laughs> ingredients ready to make the tomato sauce. I've got my uh, regular olive oil here. Uh, I've got my tomatoes. These were the whole pair of uh, tomatoes that uh, we blended up. Uh, these are imported tomato. I used Cento. Uh, you can find Cento in just about any grocery store, but any imported tomato uh, would work fine. Uh, also, I've got some uh, tomato paste. Uh, freshly chopped onion and garlic. And uh, another tip, uh, be sure to use fresh garlic uh, for this recipe. Don't use that jarred stuff because it will alter the flavor. Uh, here I've got some Pecorino Romano grated cheese, uh, fresh basil leaves, and then of course salt, pepper, and sugar. Now as you can see, there's not very many ingredients here and this is a perfect example of less is more. First thing we're going to do is uh, get this olive oil hot. I'm going to put in about uh, two thirds of a cup full of olive oil. And then we're going to wait for that to get uh, hot. Now with this batch of tomato sauce uh, will be enough for two pounds of pasta, basically any type of pasta. Or if you're making a lasagna that would feed 10 to 12 people, uh, this would be enough sauce for that uh, project as well. Um, at the end of the video, I will have the recipe uh, broken down by the can. So if you were to make one can or five cans, uh, you'll have uh, each amount for that uh, batch of sauce. Okay, the oil seems hot enough. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and add my onions. Um, we're just gonna fry the onions first before we put in the garlic because the onions seem to cook a lot quicker than the garlic and uh, uh, you wouldn't get the full potential of the onion if you were to mix them together right away. So we're gonna wait just a little bit. Um, now we have the onions in the pot. I'm going to go ahead and add the black pepper because I like the black pepper to be infused in the olive oil. So uh, for each can, I put about a quarter tablespoon of black pepper. So I've got three cans here. One, two, three. Okay. 
So now we're gonna go ahead and let that cook for a few minutes. Okay, the onions have been cooking now for about five minutes on medium heat. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and add the garlic. I went ahead and added a tablespoon of chopped garlic. That was one for each can. I'm gonna go ahead and let that fry up. And I want it to be a light golden brown before I add the other ingredients. All right, the onions and garlic are now a nice golden or a light golden brown. Uh, now we're ready to add the other ingredients. Man, it smells really good in here. I'll tell you, there's nothing like uh, onions and garlic frying in a pan. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and uh, put in our tomato paste. Stir that around a little bit. Okay, now we will add the tomato. I had to add some water to get that delicious tomato out of there. All right. Now we will go ahead and add our salt. So that's uh one te uh, teaspoon of salt per can. So we have three cans in there. So we'll need three teaspoons of salt. And then same thing goes for the sugar. One, two, three. And then we will put in our fresh basil. These are giant leaves, so typically I put about uh, six leaves per can, but uh, <laughs> I think that uh, one leaf is equivalent to uh, uh, three leaves, three regular sized leaves. Okay, well, that's in there. Now we're going to take some of our Pecorino Romano. Uh, it's one tablespoon, I'm sorry, two tablespoons per can. So it's one, two, three, four five six and that's all good to go stir that in there oh, it's smelling good already all right so now we're going to go ahead and let this cook on a medium heat until it starts to boil and then we'll lower it a little bit but typically i don't like to cook my sauce for four hours uh, i'm good with an hour and a half it stays nice and red and uh it's you can actually taste the tomato. So we'll go ahead and let that cook. Okay, the sauce is uh, boiling right now. So we want to go ahead and reduce the heat to about uh, medium low on this. So this way you don't burn the bottom of the sauce. Because once you burn that sauce on the bottom, that uh, sauce there is not any good anymore. So uh, just always remember to frequently stir the sauce. And I, it's gotta be a wooden spoon too though. You know, I don't know what it is, but uh, to stir the sauce with a stainless steel spoon seems to be like sacrilegious when it comes to tomato sauce. But anyway, wooden spoon works great. Okay, the sauce is complete. It's been cooking for about an hour and a half. Uh, I'm very happy with the consistency. See how that tomato just sticks to the spoon? Uh, that's the result you want. You want that tomato to stick to the pasta. You don't like uh, a watery plate, that's for sure. Anyway, uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, start boiling up some uh, water and uh, get some pasta going.
Okay, water's boiling now. I'm going to go ahead and cook this uh, gimeli. Uh, my grandmother used to call it spaghetti twists. Uh, it'll take about 10 minutes. All right, just uh, need to keep stirring this. Uh, you want to keep it from sticking together. It's not like spaghetti. It's a little easier to cook. Uh, it takes between 10 and 12 minutes. Okay. Another one of my secrets. And there's a few people that do the same thing. Um, once the pasta is all drained, um, I put a little butter in there. So let me get... Uh, a stick of butter here usually about a I use a half a stick of butter per pound of pasta okay okay now the butter's in there I'm going to go ahead and add some tomato sauce to it right now Go ahead and mix this around. Beautiful. Now that sauce, that pasta is absorbing all of that sauce in there. Oh man, very good. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and plate this and then give it a test drive. That's a pound of pasta. You think you can eat all that? I probably could, but it's definitely not healthy for you. Go ahead and add some this is tomato sauce. Beautiful. Get some more Parmesan cheese. If you really wanted to get fancy, he had a couple of leaves of the basil, fresh basil. And that's it right there, folks. That's my pasta with tomato sauce. All right, let me give it a test now. Oh, it smells delicious. It looks, looks really, really, really good. Oh. Mmm, mmm. Oh my God, this is really, really delicious. Um, our family's really gonna enjoy this tonight. Uh, well, thanks for uh, watching the video. And um, if you try the recipe out and you like it, please uh, leave me a comment and uh, tell me what you liked about it or what you didn't like about it. And uh, please subscribe. Uh, I'm gonna be putting out some more videos here in the future. Thanks, enjoy, bon appetit.